It's the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, July 29th. I'm James Spann. Uh, we're expecting to see an increase in the number of showers and storms across Alabama today. Let's go in there and take a look at things. Same setup we've seen for a long time. We have the heat ridge centered a little west of here. We are on the eastern periphery of that. The air aloft a little colder today. The air a little more unstable. Very strong shortwave way north of Alabama, producing an MCS this morning over parts of the Midwest. That was our radar at 513, and there were some pretty decent downpours in parts of the Birmingham metro. And typically on a summer day when you see showers early in the morning, you know that the air is either very unstable or there's some type of external forcing mechanism. In this case, it's an outflow boundary from storms last night over Tennessee, and that typically means a fairly decent coverage of showers and storms later in the day. Starting off today in the 70s, we go back in the 90s today. Heat advisories for much of the Mid-South. And again, in Alabama, you've got some counties that are in it, some counties that are not in it. Listen, everybody's going to be hot and humid today. We'll expect mostly mid-90s, maybe low-90s in spots. We note the guys at SPC have a marginal severe weather threat for much of the state. Or today and tonight. The core threat will be from strong straight line winds, maybe a wet microburst or two. Same thing tomorrow. A marginal risk for much of the state. However, on day three, which is Friday, the air becomes drier. And showers and storms should be very hard to find. They'll be out there, but just very isolated. Here's the rain for the next five days. Found it through Monday morning of next week. And don't panic if you've got a beach trip coming up. You see the heavier totals near the Gulf Coast, but the really big numbers are down there closer to Tampa Bay. Now, if you're going to Clearwater Beach or St. Petersburg Beach, that's a different story. It looks pretty wet there, but for places like Gulf Shores and Destin, Panama City, sure, you'll see a storm from time to time, but on the positive side, a pretty decent amount of sun. On our end of the state, average rain amounts about three quarters to one inch. And the tropics, no worries with hurricanes or tropical storms in the Atlantic Basin anytime soon. A hey, model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 06Z run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. 594 heat centered a little west of here. We have a northerly flow aloft, and again, in that uh, setup, we typically have a number of showers and storms. Here is the high-resolution HRRR, valid today at 2 o'clock, and it looks pretty active, so uh, we'll expect scattered to numerous showers and storms today, maybe some strong storms, and uh, low to mid-90s are likely. Tomorrow, a surface boundary is dropping in here from the north. Those don't get in here that often at the end of July, but they can. And that might bring a strong storm or two. I don't think the coverage will be as great as today, but certainly a passing storm, a decent possibility, and they could be strong. And then Friday, the boundary actually drops a little south of here. And if indeed that is the case, the northern Half of the state could be mostly dry. We're not going to take out the chance of a storm. We never do that this time of the year, but we think storms should be very, very isolated and mainly over the southern half of the state. And that's going to be the story for the weekend. The air looks pretty dry. In fact, dew points could drop down in the 60s. And uh, if that's the case, maybe Saturday morning we'll see lows in the upper 60s. Don't need a jacket or a sweater, but it beats lows in the mid to upper 70s. And by the way, this is the first day of August. This is right at the peak of the heat, typically in the summertime here. But that looks mostly dry and really the same thing on Sunday. So for the weekend, pretty calm weather. We'll expect highs in the low to mid-90s both days. Monday of next week, still looking pretty dry. And understand, we're not saying there's no chance of rain. There's clearly the chance of a storm in the afternoon, but we don't think there's going to be very many of them. And really the same thing on Tuesday. And a week from today, this is Wednesday, August 5th. Heat ridge west of the state, strong vortex over Canada near James Bay. And down below that still looks pretty dry, just maybe a few isolated storms about with highs up in the middle 90s. Here's the end of the forecast, the end of next week, Friday, August 7th. Pretty good-looking trough over the northeast United States. That'll be kind of cool and refreshing, troughing over California. But for us, again, pretty standard summer weather. Partly sunny, maybe a storm in a few spots, but probably not many. Temperatures over the next 15 days, highs, low to mid-90s, lows mostly in the 60s. Look at Saturday morning, the uh, ensemble printing 65. Ooh, sounds pretty good for the 1st of August. Anomalies temperature-wise between August 5th and August 11th, suggesting below average 
Temperatures a little north of here and slightly above average here, but not by much. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television site, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.